The COVID-19 pandemic continues to spread Metro Manila hospitals too thin. But the health department is counting on a new referral scheme to accommodate all coronavirus patients. To give us the latest, Greg Gregorio is reporting live from Mandaluyong. Greg, what are the latest sentiments from uh, hospitals in the metro? Charles, some uh, private and public hospitals in Metro Manila say they have already stretched their bed capacity according to the health department's request. But according to them, it is still not enough. The Commonwealth Hospital and Medical Center in Quezon City has 24 isolation beds for COVID-19 patients. But on Friday, they have reached their full capacity. Of the number, 22 are currently occupied, while some are patients await admission at the emergency room. This prompted the hospital to seek the transfer of COVID positives, as well as suspect patients that require admission to other healthcare facilities. Hospital Assistant Director Dr. Jose Madrid says they have already complied with the health department's requirement to allow 20% of their total bed capacity to COVID-related cases. But at this point, they admitted being hard-pressed to accommodate more. Uh, we're still accepting naman to provide uh, initial management. Pero if we admit yung patient, zero talaga kami. Hindi kasi namin ma-maximize yung full capacity ng hospital kasi with the recent uh, lockdown ng transportation, uh, may mga wards kami na being occupied by employees din. Pati yung mga nagpa-quarantine namin employees. Things are likewise difficult for the long center of the Philippines. As a public hospital, it has already allotted more than 30% of its bed capacity for COVID patients per request by the DOH. As one of the first COVID referral hospitals in the metro, they are already dedicating 75% of their total bed capacity to COVID-related cases. While the center has 18 vacant beds as of 7 a.m. today, it is still at a dangerous zone with 85% of its COVID-dedicated beds now occupied. In response, the DOH says it has intensified the implementation of its one hospital command system, which aims to strengthen the referral system among different hospitals. Through this system, pinapag-igting din po natin ang coordination ng mga hospital natin with the temporary treatment and monitoring facilities upang mailipat po natin ang mga kasong hindi na nangangailangan ng higher level of care. Meanwhile, both of these hospitals say they are in need of manpower. Long Center of the Philippines spokesperson Norberto Francisco says they could use 50 to more than 100 additional nurses. It's difficult and it's, it's exhausting, it's tiring, but do we have a choice? Wala eh. we, we just have to go on. Uh, a lot of that is a matter of attitude and behavior and, uh, of course, uh, compassion. Charles, for the additional needed nurses, the, uh, the Commonwealth Hospital said they currently have a one nurse for every five to six patients, while the Lung Center of the Philippines has one nurse for every three to four patients, and they would need 50 to or more than 100 patients in order for them to reach the ideal one is to one or to two nurse to patient ratio. Charles? Thanks for that, Greg. That was Greg Gregorio joining us live from Mandaluyong.